Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to our everyday living. I've got a bit of time up my sleeve. Very foggy and cold at the morning before I start this morning. I thought I'd get into this Simpson 6 kilo dryer. It doesn't want to start the motor, so it's definitely the capacitor, the motor capacitor that actually stores the power to make the motor kick into gear. Um, it start, this one's a 8FU, I think it's 8FU, I think that's what it says. UF, I had to get that right. Um, ordered the part oh, about a week ago, I thought oh, I'd do a video on this one. So I'll show you what I'm talking about where it doesn't start. Grab the old cord. It's already on a, on a setting here, we'll grab a milk crate, so I can sit down, you can all see what I'm talking about, plug him in, plug him in, I, I don't leave it on for too long because they can actually burn your motor out, you can see that, she not turning, so that's to do with the uh, motor capacitor, um, so we'll get it up on its face, we shouldn't need to, usually what I do with some of these, with this one, we shouldn't need to tape the bolt inside because this one here, it's actually riveted. So we'll get it up on the on the uh, good old trolley, on our stand, and we'll whip into it and see if we can replace the part. We'll give it a good clean while we're in there too. Get it up here. That's a good stand, isn't it? Can't complain about that. Right, the tools we'll need is a quarter bit socket um 13 mil socket on an extension because the, the this one's got the bolt on um for the capacitor and definitely have a magnet handy too so you can actually put your screws on a magnet that way you're not going to lose them all your tools can be magnetized there as well so you know where they are you don't have to chase them look at that can't do that with that though. So let's get to, well, do uh, that screw there first. That's the only screw we have, the Phillips head. So we'll do a deep clean. We're going to take the heater out, which is just underneath here. Um, I'm not disconnecting no wires in the way of the heater. Hey, this can all see. One screw. We'll take the tools off there. That's going to be too much. Tilt us all down a little bit more for you. Uh, that can go onto there. We're finished with that. That's the only one we have. Go around and undo all your screws. Because you'll need full access. I mean full access. Make sure you don't drop no screws. There's two plates to this in your heater, heater section. To create the air flow through we'll give that a dust out as well while we're going doesn't matter what pattern you take these apart but when you're putting it back together you got to put this on first before you put the the shield on your fan shield for your heater because you've got to align your drum you got to undo your drum from one nut it's a 13 mil. Now, if I sound a bit sniffly, I'm Mr. Snuffleupagus for today. Sort of got a head cold, so yeah. This cold weather's not doing me the world of good. So I'm a bit down and out for counting at the moment. So I thought I'd get in and do this first before I start a bit of work around here. Bit of cheating. All right, pull the core down the road, pull that out. We'll give that a dust off with the air down here. Do it as we go, we don't have to go back and do it then. Pop that dent out, make it look pretty for the next person that's gonna buy the machine, if we fix it. I'm hoping it fixes the job. Saves time later, that does. Right, while we're here, give that a dust off. Try not to blow it into your heater too much. If you do, go from a distance. Right, we don't need to take the cover off there. Put that over. Oh, we need that straight away now. Better undo the, 
this nut here, which is your 13mm. But usually, on some of them, they've got the bolt that actually holds right through. But this one, it's already riveted. I'll show you when I've got this off. Hang on to that. Put that on your washer. And your nut on your Maggie. Alright, got to put that down. Now, how you do... Oh, I've got to get that heater off yet. I'll get around to showing you how to get this off. Your heater's first thing. You've got to manoeuvre that so it's inside. Pull your heater up. Like so. Pop it down inside. Pop it inside like that and then just rest it there. Because it's not plugged in so that's all fine anyway. Sit it down inside. You can try and do this motor compressor in through here. But I tell you what. You can't fit two hands in here. So it's much easier to take this whole back off. I've tried doing it many times, many years, you know, trying to get them through there, but this is the easy way. Hold your drum up, put your fingers in here, slide it off your, your main shaft, if it's gonna allow you. Then all you gotta do is pull it up, take your cord off, and that's it. Simple. Your bearing, if you wanna replace your bearing at this stage, give it a good old check, see if it's gonna wobble. If it doesn't wobble, she's all good. So we'll give that dust off as we're going. Just watch your, your filter there, your, your, your liner. Rubs on the stuff. We might need to replace that. Not replace it, re, reposition it, that is. Give that a good dust out. There too. That's just a general clean. Get rid of the crap. Right, that's that. Get into here, give it a blow out. Hold the load, hold the swirl. Woo! Hold the hard plastic into those. Just don't stand it up like that when you've got them lying flat like that. Your drum will just fall out otherwise. She's a funny hut. Keep her to bloody put back in, I tell ya. Righto, hand back over the mouth. Oh yeah, I think that's good enough. Didn't want to suck all that crap in. That's just nasty, 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 nasty. Now we get our socket again. Wait for that air compressor to turn off. Undo our motor capacitor. Here we go. <coughs> oh Jesus. Must have got a bit down the throat. Not much. The motor capacitor is just down in here. It's got a, what, it should come with a brand new nut, but we'll sit that there anyway, just in case it doesn't. So this is your motor capacitor. Just take that out. It's only held on by two spade connectors. Those there. Open up the box, we haven't got a knife. Oh, we're gonna use the screwdriver. Come on. Open up, son. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't need knives these days. The brand newy. Brand new mode. Don't. Whatever you do, try not to drop these. Because you can damage them. Especially from brand new. So, what to do with the old one? Oh, over there. It's good. Right, this one does have a nut, so we'll use the nut that was supplied that'll go as scrap metal so that'll go on that one doesn't matter which way these go as far as i've never known i've always put them on you know so that your clips can go on back to back this one's still the 8 uf 450 volts 
This one's the same. I've got to read it. Where's my glasses? Here's my glasses. Sweet. We'll put them on. Ugh. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, I can read that one. Yeah, 450 volts. Uh, 5% 5, uh, 5 positive negative charge. Yep. Sweet. Okay. We're good to roll before we start any power plugging in. I done all my checks before I ordered it anyway. So I'll just cross-referencing, see if we've got it confirmed and correct. They're an easy thing to replace if you do have this problem where it's not actually starting. Put that down so I don't lose it because I've got to use the other hand. It's only a one-hand job. Oh, geez. There's no easy way of doing this. Come on, get the fingers right. Oh, it's not gonna work. It's not working for me. Come around this side. Do the hoodly doodly spin around. Oh, get up there. Get the hell in that hole. Screw the light, son. Oh my God. I can't test this until I got the back on anyway. Oh, get in that hole. What do we got? We got the screwdriver here. <laughs> Give it a bit of helping hand from the top. There we go. Here we go. Don't let me forget that's there. We'll wonder where it is next. Otherwise. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Get on there. And while you're in this far, check your idler pulley. See if it needs replacing. If it needs replacing, now's the best time to be doing it. Uh, maintenance to a machine is a key. That's a different damn size. Well, I'm not going to use that nut. I'm going to use this nut. A nut for a nut. It should be the same thread. I hope. Don't want to go chasing tools. Much easier just to change the nut over. Should be the same thread. She's the same thread. Look at that. She's on there. We'll do that up. Safe chasing tools, nothing wrong with the nut, you know. If you can use the same one, why not? Hold your capacitor. Do them up firm, not too tight. Don't need to do it up dead tight like you're doing up a big crankshaft or anything like that. Put that there. Now it's put it back together. So simple, but like I said, if you are this far, it is not that hard to check your idler pulley. All you gotta do is hold tension here, pull your drum over a bit, take your idler pulley off. You can just take your belt off, it is easy. Give it a turn. Just don't let your belt sag, that's all it is. See, this is your idler pulley. It looks good to me, that one's good to go. They go on only one way, because you've got to, well, no, not necessarily go on one way. This one could be turned. It's been wearing a fair bit on that side, more than that side. They can be turned, um, but this one here, if you do turn them around, make sure that this little washer here, if I could get it out, I'd have to use a screwdriver. I'm not going to turn this one. Uh, but yeah, you, you can get that out and put it on the other side. It's not necessary, but that's what I would do. But this one, I'm putting it back in the way it was. Because it looks okay to me. And make sure that it's got plenty of, plenty of lubrication there, like packing grease and stuff like that. Make sure you use the right stuff. That's all it is. Up there like so... Just general maintenance to your machine. If you can do the maintenance yourself and save the, someone else, paying someone else to do it, by all means, get in and try it. I can't get that back, back on there now. Right here, we're gonna have to do something else. Didn't wanna do this way, but we're doing it this way. Put that pulley on to there. Then we put the belt on. Pull the drum over. Mm. 
make sure your belt's in the ribs. Give it a turn. Make sure she's going to be good. Just don't pull down on it because your tension's on a spring down here. The spring is actually right there. Right there. It's all by on the turn of the motor, actually. So, you turn it clockwise. Keep the fan out of the road. Just to line the belt back up if you do take your tensioner off. It does need to go down lower. You can go lower, so the easiest way is you just slide your belt down. Push your tensioner down. This is how I do it anyway. And it'll line that belt back up again. That's it there. Yeah, sweet. Done. Done, done, done. Done like dinner. Now we'll put it all back together. Because I've already given the dust out, makes life so much easier. Now, getting down to this little piece, I don't know what I could do about fixing that, because that's all strapped as one. That would go there. Yes, I can fix that. We put that underneath there like so. Put it underneath the spring. That's how it should be. That's all fixed, all done. It's only come out, that's all that's happened there. Um, make sure that there's plenty of packing grease. I think that's what they use on this stuff. It's really yucky sort of stuff. Um, in there, it's like lubrication. It's a heat preventative type of thing to stop it from burning as far as I know. Like I don't know everything. I've only learnt from doing this myself. Right, now, this is a technique that I've done myself. Um, lay the bottom down here, because it can go up against these tabs here, you can't push that any further down. So what you do here, to line your drum up, <coughs> mind me, push your drum up from in through your heater core, put it on, and then, Put this bottom screw in first, which is here. That tool on that one, tool for a tool. You can put your washer and your spring washer on your, your bearing up here as well. That can be done up as well, if you please. Uh, but what I do is I use the screw first to line the whole thing up in the center because it's central right down the center. I don't do it up completely because you've got to line the hole back up, make it all square. If it's not square, it's not gonna, you're not going to get your hot screws in the holes. That's not done up. Right, leave that to there. Grab a screw for that. Go top corner. Do them up ever so slightly. Get it in the hole. Yeah, go away eBay, I don't want to know you. Same over this far side. That one looks to be good. Right, screw there. Come down to this bottom corner. You can go around and just put them all in. Just so that they've started. But you've got to remember, these put up at least 150 Newton metres of torque. So that's a fair bit of torque for a little screw. You can actually strip them. Go around and just start putting them in. Then we'll put our heater back in too. Might turn out to be a lovely day. We'll see what happens. Got to go and jump on the mower once the ground dries out. Otherwise she's a w green wet mess. Two up top. Right, 
once this slots in, you can go and just give it a couple of taps. Just enough so that they don't vibrate out. To all it is. Did I do that one? Must have. Right, get the socket onto that, onto the nut. This doesn't need to be real tight either. You're not doing up a crankshaft, like I said. Just enough so you start turning your drum. To all it needs, because it has got a spring washer on there anyway. Right, put our heater back in. It's just reverse of what you put it pulled it out of. So make sure you get it out the hole, like so. Try not to get any of your wires caught, of course. Because you'll have mayhem. You get one of those come off, you think, oh, where's it go? Right, two screws into that. Could do that one up there, that's the last one. That to there. I have checked the heater on this and it does work. Right, the back piece, put them both on together, line it up, pop it on. You basically got to put the whole thing back together before you know whether this is going to actually work. Like, um, to buy that item, I'm looking, oh, I think it's about 15 bucks, 15, 20 dollars for one of those motor compressors, capacitors. Um, for me to sell this, I'd get uh, at least 100 dollars, the dryer, because I've cleaned it with the dust. I'll get two and wipe it over, things like that, if it's working. Um, I basically almost, you could say, quadruple my money. Instead of scrapping it out. So it's much easier to hang on to it for a week. And, um, yeah, fix it if I can. If I find a means, of, a way to fix it, I'll do it. Plenty of information out on the good old web on how to fix things. Like... Comparison to doing cans, I'm actually getting, well, you could say I'm making more money doing this than actually doing cans. Like just for this week, I uh, could say I went into the uh, four-figure mark. That's for this week, for washing machines. That's pretty damn good. I'm not complaining. No use complaining. Just puts a smile on my dial. If you ain't got a smile on your dial, you're not living. Well, that's what I've always thought anyway. Live a dream. Right, that's all back together. Time to put the last screw in. No screws left on our magnet, we'll better check. See if we miss one. Magnet's clean. That down there, that up there, we'll stand it up. See if it works. Cross fingers. Put that to there, scoot that up there. Let's see if we're gonna get power in this thing. Put that up to there, grab the old cord up here. Undo the door. Turn him off, turn him to the off position, plug it in, see if we've got any dust in the lint filter thing out. There's a bit there, there's a bit there. <sighs> Do that and that. That's done. We might give that a blow out too while we're here. 
Whoa, see ya. That's good. That's good. Right. That'll catch into there anyway. Right, close that up. Put that to there. Look at that. She's working. So, instead of scrapping things out, you know, the best thing to do, if you can fix it, diagnose what the problem is. If you already know what they are, it's a bonus. Um, yeah, that's blowing out some heat there. That's good. So, anyway, if you've come this far in this video, everyone, do us a favour. Smash that like button. Also, if you want to do us a favour and you want to keep in touch with what we're doing, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put out a new video. So I enjoyed doing this one for everyone, for you all, before I start doing any work around here. It has cleared up a bit. There we go, it's going back the other way now, so she's definitely working well. And uh, till next time, everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!